Let's talk about trust. Hi, how you doing? So a lot of times people will have a hard time in relationships because they can't trust the other person or they don't know if they can trust. But I know for me, when I was in relationships growing up and you know my early adult years, it was really hard for me to trust. Turns out that it was hard for me to trust because number one, I was picking people who I couldn't trust. <laughs> so it was almost like I was testing myself. Can I trust them? It's my it's my problem that I can't trust them. My problem, I can't trust them. I'm picking people who I can't trust. It's actually their problem. But I still need to go through relationships and feel that I can trust. So how does that work? That means that the very first person that I have to trust is me. And I have to trust myself in three different ways, knowing that I can live a life by myself and for myself and be okay. Two, knowing that I can support myself and that I can financially, emotionally, and independently support myself. And three, that I can choose somebody who also is a good person to choose. So I will be able to know that this is a valuable person who in turn will value me. Okay, so how do I know that I picked the right person? Well, you don't in the beginning, that's for sure. But I trust that if it doesn't work, I can go back to those two places where I was living independently and living my life fine. You know, there's a, a song, got along without him before I met him, going to get along without him now. I have to know that that's possible. If I don't know that that's possible and I become it attached to another person, then I feel like if they leave, I fall apart. If they leave, I disintegrate. If they leave like a child, what happens to me, right? So I need to know I'm not a child. I need to know that I am an adult and that I am fully capable of living my life independently and fully capable of picking a good person. So how do I trust this person? Well, the first thing I'm going to tell you is that you do not trust this person. <laughs> do not get to know this person and see if you can trust them and listen to what they say the very first time you go out with them because they're trying to tell you something about yourself. And women, as women, we tend to um, want to fix or want to say, no, that's not true. That's how she saw you. I see you different. I'll give you an example. A guy will say, um, I, I don't know if I'm a good guy. I've, I've been put down so many years and told I'm not a good guy. I, I, I feel like I'm probably not, right? The guy just told you he's not a good guy. He just told you that everybody else tells you he's not a good guy. All the girls he goes out but tell you he's not a good guy. But our reaction is, no, I think you're a good guy. Why would you? Why? Come on. You do good things. Are you? Yeah, I do good things, he'll say. But um, yeah, I've, I've been put down so many times in relationships. Okay, these are red flags. If he's been put down so many times in relationships, our question is, why? Every single woman he dated is not some jerk or a mean you know, cow who came in and just took over his life. If every single time, so many times he's been put down, there's something that he's doing, right? He's not going to show you yet but he's giving you hints that this part of him exists. So trust him 1% on the first date. 1%. Why? Because he showed up. Okay, he gets 1%. He pays for the bill, he gets 2%. Now you can trust him 2%, right? He doesn't pay for the bill and says, well, you know, you actually ate, I didn't, so that's your half. Okay, go back to 1%, pay your half, and never go out with him again, right? We're dating somebody because we want to see how they act, how they respond. Now, you can say, yeah, but it's 
the year 2023 and that's not how it's done. Well, I'm sorry, but for many, many, many years, that is how it was done. And if a man is going to take you out on a date, he's going to pay for you. And you could say, well, I make more than him. Well, if money's important to you, then don't date him. But if money is not where your value system is, then date him. But still, he's going to take you places that he can afford to take you, even if it's to the park and to get a coffee. He's paying. Don't take out your wallet. That's how dating goes. If you find out that he's um, he treats the waitress poorly, sends back his food all the time, this is not good enough, that's not good enough, trust me. This is how he's going to be when you're married and you make the dinner, right? Watch how he treats the, the waitress. Is he overly friendly or is he extremely rude? Watch how he tips. Does he tip graciously, over graciously, under graciously? Watch what he's doing because he's showing you who he is. By showing you who he is consistently, we can now trust him three percent one of the mistakes we make is we go in and we'll trust 50 percent on the first date and 70 percent on the second date and then by the third date you know we're like heading towards being in love and 90 percent and then all of a sudden he's like the best guy in the world first of all nobody's the best guy in the world and second of all don't move that fast when they say take it slow that's what they mean take it slow as far as trust goes. So how do you take it slow as far as trust goes? Respect your body. It's extremely important. If you wanna hold his hand, okay. I would hold a child's hand so I can hold his hand, maybe on the third date. If I have a desire to hold his hand, that's a good thing. That means I'm physically attracted to him. And when I hold his hand, do I feel it in my entire body? That's fantastic. Don't go any further. Maybe a kiss goodnight. Don't go any further. Why? Well, on the third date, I'm saying a kiss goodnight. Not on the first date. You just met him. Why are you going to kiss him on the first date? That's like weird. The movies are telling us today you can like sleep with somebody on the front. It's weird. It's weird. It's just, it's like, where's the trust? You can't trust him. You don't know him. If I don't know him, why am I giving him my body? Right? If I don't trust somebody, why would I let them in my house? I won't let them in my house. I don't trust them. Right? This is my house. No one comes in until I trust you. 99%. I don't think you can ever trust somebody 100%. But even in that 1%, I know that I can build my life myself. I'm fine. Which makes me peaceful in the relationship. Right? Who do you have to trust? You have to trust yourself. Keep going. Keep going. Get stronger every day. Your relationship will grow. More will be revealed. And you'll know whether you can trust them more or say goodbye, you're out the door. And that <laughs> is your bubby pin for today. If this was helpful, give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I'll catch you in the bubby pin tomorrow. Bye-bye.